Welcome, friends. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Welcome, friends, to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gabriela. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, I, we look bigger because I've moved the camera <laughs> a little bit. We're not giants, folks. Seriously, move the camera a little bit. I've been sort of experimenting with things. Still need to fix the lighting, but hopefully it's all right. Um, thank you again for hanging out with us. Much appreciated. We see all the regulars here. It's so nice to be here, folks. We see uh, Amanda Panda, uh, our chat moderator. Um, James is here. Uh, Wannabe Kiwi is back in the house. Hi, Wannabe Kiwi. And hello, James. Uh, we also got uh, uh, GB Glazer. Hi, GB. And uh, Mrs. Gav is right here. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and uh, Cards and Dice. Hello, Cards and Dice. Um, Amanda's already eaten all of her stream snacks, unfortunately, and I, I have to, we actually had, um, some Mexican food for dinner, which is a nice change of pace today. Well, if you want to call it Mexican food, it was yeah, Chipotle. It's Chipotle, <laughs> yeah. Mexican style food, I guess. Uh, Brain in a Jar's in the house. Hi, Brain in a Jar. Thank you for joining us. Yes, the welcome fam, the fam bam. Daryl Gaming 2 is here. Hopefully Daryl Gaming 1 is still okay. Uh, <laughs> Griff Dog's in the house. Hi, Griff Dog. Good to see you here. Uh, Wannabe Kiwi says, been super curious about this game. Yes, but Whatnot Cabinet, we just played a game right before we went on air. I'm already calling it right. I love this game. I, I, I just, I think it's so neat, and it's a quick yet puzzly game. I think it's going to be a hit, folks. This is from Pestle First Games. But we've got plenty of other stuff to talk about first. Number one is this episode, uh, this stream is sponsored by our friend uh, Dave at Game Foundry. You can see the link right here, etsy.com slash shop slash Game Foundry. Dave, and um, he is a gentleman that I met at Strategicon, our local uh, gaming convention in L.A. Um, I think I've known him for a couple of years now. Really nice guy, and what he does in his spare time is um, 3D print stuff. He got into it a couple of years ago. And it just turned into this, it was like a hobby of his, like just, you know, it was a little passion project because mm -hmm. he's an architect, but um, I don't, he, he had mentioned something in his email that um, he doesn't always use his architect st skills in his current job or he doesn't have like a creative outlet. And this is his creative outlet. Oh, well, that explains everything. Then. Yeah. Oh. Just brilliant. Like okay. These, yeah, right? It makes sense. Yeah. So shout out to Dave. Thank you again for sponsoring my friend. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to show off a bunch of the products that Game Foundry um, has for sale. They're very affordable um, inserts and overlays for a bunch of games. And we're excited about it. We're, I am super excited about it because normally my games, they have like plastic bags. They're just thrown in <laughs> sort of haphazardly. Um, um, sometimes my friend Daryl B. Gaiman, he makes uh, inserts for me. He's uh, kind, out of the kindness of his heart. And, um, but yeah, we're going to just loan him a game and it comes back with inserts. Yeah. <laughs> like, great. yeah. Daryl's <laughs> like, just, he's just nice like that, you know? Um, so thank you, Daryl. Yeah. So these, we're going to show off, uh, these are all 3d printed from uh, game foundry. We'll get to those in a minute, but as always, we start our stream off with our stream snacks. What are y'all eating and or drinking? Uh, uh, Monty B. Kiwi was talking about, it's more like a stream supper. That's, that's totally <laughs> fine. Uh, we had our Chipotle, uh, today. I've got... Um, oh, I've got my high hibiscus LaCroix today. And Michelle, what are you drinking? I have high hibiscus tea. Nice. I made it all by myself. It's got the actual Cause, tea. Yeah, because I've had the hibiscus tea leaves for, I don't know, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and decided that I needed to switch up my water. Yeah, nice. So I have hibiscus flavored water without the bubbles. Yeah, mine are, mine are the bubbly. Um, uh, thank you. Oh, hi, Ben. Thanks for joining us. Hope you, hope you and Steph are doing well. Uh, Carmen's nice. Just water as I had a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I have thought, we haven't had the Popeye's chicken sandwich yet, have we? No. Yeah, we because I think wasn't it right before the pandemic there was the big craze so every yeah. time we like we went to go get it it was sold out or there was like a line at the door a mile yep. long and we're like we're not that hungry. Yeah, still haven't had it. We need we need to try it. Um I've had I know we've had the Chick-fil-A one which I thought was okay and there was a place here in town BBQ Chicken where mm -hmm. we used to have game nights. I love their barbecue chicken sandwich. I thought their chicken sandwich was superb. I don't did, did I have it? I don't know. I think you always had like the, just like the chicken, like the regular the chicken. Regular yeah. Chicken. Just yeah. like their OG chicken was great. Yeah. Uh, speaking of chicken, Wannabe Kiwis has a chicken Caesar salad. We have a local brewery that started to make sparkling water and their, I forgot one is so good. Oh, nice. Very cool. 
So yeah, friends, uh, thank you again for joining us. If you want to share what you're uh, eating and or drinking, we'd love to hear. Cheeseburger pizza? Ooh, someone had a cheeseburger pizza. What Wait, the? I don't know. You scrolled. No, I lost oh, there it. There it is, right here. <laughs> uh, the Clyde Man. Thanks for joining us, Clyde Man. Uh, cheeseburger pizza and water. Whoa. Have we had a cheeseburger pizza? No. No. I, yeah, I've had a pastrami pizza, which was actually better than I thought it would be. It had the pastrami on top, like just layered, and then they also had, well, you didn't, I know you don't like this, the pickles and some kind of mustard. It was actually pretty good, but someone doesn't like pickles. Uh, <laughs> that me. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so interesting, brewery making sparkling water, whatever. Yeah, that's a totally great idea. Our local brewery used to make the best root beer. Remember yeah. that root beer? Oh, it was so good. It, it was. It makes sense. I mean, instead of beer, it's root beer, and it was fantastic. But well, I mean, considering the fact because I just I don't like beer except sour yeah. beer, and they yeah. didn't have any, yeah. so that was like my big, you know, my big excitement there was to have their root beer. And then yeah. there was one time we went, they didn't have root beer, and I was like, I'll have water, thank you. Yeah, and then thankfully we found that sour only brewery yeah. in town, so we do have one actually called Sour Cellars. And they're great. I, I love, oh, is it, oh, I forget the owner's name. It's Cynthia and um, I want to say like Matthew maybe. I, I forget. I don't know. But they were really nice. Yeah. Super yeah. nice people. Um, they are still in business. Maybe we should, maybe we might have to have a sour beer soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> twist, twist Michelle's arm. Uh, um, we have a few breweries here that are making sodas as well. So good. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see, the regular with extra sauce, um, okay. Uh, why that play? Hi, why that play? And Clyde was talking about how they have pickles, nice. On pickles the, uh, on the pizza. Yeah. So, okay, I'm just trying to picture in my head. So you have the pizza and, like, what is it, like the ground beef? That's what I was assuming, that's, yeah. And, like, the pizza fix, I mean, the hamburger fixings right. on the top? Yeah, because that's how the pastrami pizza was. It was just, like, pastrami meat all over sort of like just strips of pastrami uh, yeah well you know what yeah i guess that would make sense because at um um cpk california pizza kitchen oh yeah which we haven't been to in years yeah um i used to really like their taco pizza oh and okay that was basically a deconstructed taco all all spread out on top of yeah pizza. yeah i wasn't <laughs> always the biggest fan of cpk uh, chicken tikka masala pizza sounds good. That does sound good. I would yeah. totally eat that. Uh, vegan. Oh, uh, Ben is having Steph's uh, vegan mac and cheese. Very nice. Have we had vegan mac and cheese? I don't think we have. I don't know. Yeah. Um, let's see. Why that play? Deadpan's in the house. Hi, Deadpan. Uh, Clyde says, yeah, it works kind of the same way as the taco pizza. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Zoe has kale salad with spicy grilled chicken. Uh, pepitas, oh, okay, avocado, crispy jalapeno, crispy jalapenos, walnuts, and dried, that sounds delightful. And I would actually eat everything but the dried cherries on that. What's the pepitas? That's not, is that cucumber? No, that is the seeds? Pepitas. Yeah. The seeds, yeah. right? I, I think so, yeah. Uh, Ben Penna was, uh, typing one handed, lol. Oh, uh, nice. All right, so always good to hear what, uh, snacks y'all are having. Thank you. Continue. Uh, we just want to say thanks again for all your support, folks. It's uh, So we scaled back our schedule a bit uh, Tuesday through Thursdays um, here on this channel. Um, I'm starting to do stuff for Gen Con TV and also um, doing recordings uh, with Becca uh, over on a good-looking Kickstarter. So time has been a little cramped these days, but I'm very grateful for it, all the opportunities and also still love hanging out with y'all here on Twitch. So thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we've got... What else do we have? Uh, we've got all the stuff from um, uh, Game Foundry, and then we're going to play the Whatnot Cabinet. So shout out to Pencil First Games for uh, sending the game to us, and thank you all for hanging out. Let's look at Game Foundry stuff. I'm excited yeah. about this, folks. So we're going to transition over here. Yeah. The fact that he's an architect makes so much sense. Right? Yeah. Because I, I was thinking in my head, how do you like program the 3d printer right. to make these exact inserts and yeah that makes so much sense and it, it is a great so um the first one i look at some some of them are inserts some of them are overlays so we're gonna look at viscounts of the west kingdom and uh what this uh if y'all played this this came out last year from renegade uh, this continues the West Kingdom series from uh, Shem Phillips and the crew there. Uh, this here, what Dave and Game Foundry has done, has 
all the way down here. We have our player boards. And thanks to Dave and Game Foundry's brilliance, we have overlays, folks. So there are four different overlays uh, for each color. Oh, yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, there. they just lock, lock right in there. And here's your overlay. And, you know, as you play, you're going to have all your little buildings. So this game, if you played it before, it's super easy to knock over your buildings and stuff. That's uh, isn't that neat? Genius. Yeah. So it's, you know, without the overlay, it reminds me of like Terraforming Mars. You could totally knock stuff out uh, without meaning to. And then you're going to have your buildings here. Um, there's a, a certain order that they go here, right? So you have those. I think it's... Um, this one on this side. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that neat? Wow. Yeah. I always think of like having like plastic, I guess plastic overlays. Yeah. You know, like clear ones. But yeah. this is, this is genius. Yeah, isn't this great? I, I love this. And again, um, let me get a closer view here. So as you can see, uh, you're going to place all the, I'm not going to do it here. There's all the pieces here. You're going to place all your player pieces here. As the game goes on, you're either going to move this one up or down, these markers, and then you're going to reveal these. So these as you, these are all filled up with buildings. And as you remove these buildings, you'll unlock uh, certain bonuses and stuff. So this is really neat. I, I love this. And there's a solo game as well. So okay, for, Barry was asking, is there one for the solo side too? Yeah. Hey, Barry, you read my mind. Well done, friend. So let's look at the solo. And I'll actually have Michelle do it. So Michelle... If you could grab that red one there, okay. go ahead and just slide the red one off and then flip the board over. On every on the opposite side of each player board is the solo version. And that one down there. Oh, this purple one? Yeah, you're going to slide that on the top of here, and that is your solo game. I think I hear Bruno. Oh, it's Bruno. Okay, if you want to. Oh, hold up. <laughs> I'm okay. having issues. No worries. Right. Okay. Oh, cool, cool, that. cool. Yeah, and there's Barry. There is the solo uh, mat, so you can have one for yourself. <laughs> so it's okay, so where do I find me? Yeah. So uh, Game Foundry. Uh, well, yeah, Barry. Uh, checking out the link is right there. Let me drop it in the uh, chat. <laughs> AJ Gamer says, "Oh wait, I lost it. No. Oh. oh, sometimes I feel like board game accessories are greater than board games. <laughs> Just saying. I I know how you feel, AJ. Right? Thank you for joining us, by the way, friend. Yeah, so here is uh, the player. You get one for each color, and then you also have the extra one for the solo game. So there it is, folks. Again, wow. Game Foundry. I just dropped the link in chat. Check it out there. Um, and it's an Etsy shop um, run by Dave Intner. I want to thank him again for sponsoring this episode. Folks, that's just one of many. We've got plenty more. So let me... That's let's amazing. Just, isn't that great? You just spend a whole hour looking at these. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we just dump everything back in here okay. and we'll get to the side. We'll clean up later. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the next one on our list here. And we're going to go through all the games that we have here, folks, uh, with all the great stuff from Game Foundry. And then afterwards, we're going to play the Whatnot Cabinet. The Whatnot Cabinet is the latest game from, well, one of the latest games from Pencil First. And it's also one of the newer um, uh, custom inserts that Dave and Game Foundry have uh, produced. So we'll show that off in just a second. But let's move on to one of our favorite trick-taking games of last year, The Crew. Has anyone played The Crew? We, we love this one. This is a trick-taking game, cooperative. Um, you play through like 100 missions or so. We only played for the first few ones. We need to get back into it. Um, let me just check comments. Do we miss anything here? Love this game. It's part of my 10 by 10 for 21. Oh, nice. Why they play? Very nice. Uh, just having some reheated pepperoni pizza. Hey, we had reheated uh, pizza for lunch too, uh, Zoe. Is it, or Zoe, or why that play? My bad. Um, okay, uh, yeah, shout out to Pencil First. So here's, um, yeah, James, we, we love Pencil First games. Um, what was the one? Sunset Over Water and also Herbaceous, big favorites. Here's the crew, folks. There's the instructions. And the insert has been replaced by... Game Foundry's insert. Oops, I just knocked this over. So, as you can see, this comes right out. Is that one piece? Yeah, one piece. You have your first player token. You have the tokens for the game. Uh, they slide right in here. Right? 
here and here. Whoops. And then you have your cards. You have your playing cards here, right? The whole deck's there. And then you have your mission cards right here. Boom. Done. So, like, how much would this insert be? Um, it's on the website. Um, that is a great question. Let's see how much. Uh, current price for this insert is 14 bucks. That's reasonable. Uh, totally reasonable, right? Um, you go, I mean, there's other, I, I don't want to um, put anyone on blast, but there are other companies that make inserts uh, that are much more expensive than this. I, I think this is such a great, affordable way to get some really nice inserts to your game. So this is the one for the crew. Again, really, I mean, just brilliantly designed, right? It just fits perfectly in here. Can you make one of these for my house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then the instructions. So that is the crew. Again, the Game Foundry insert for the crew. Very nice. Um, oh, let's look at another one of our favorites from recent times. Cartographers. I love this game. Michelle loves this game, too. And we may have saved some of those sheets that we did earlier. Because I really? love, yeah. So here's the rule book, the game sheets, and look, some of the sheets that we saved from previous games because, well, that's mine. That doesn't look that pretty. That's Lauren's. Wow, where's Michelle's? Oh, there it is. There's Michelle. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know a lot, uh, some of you do the colored pencils. Michelle does too. Hers always looks neat. Always love seeing that. And then this one was, uh, this was me. But, anyways, here is the insert for cart cartographers. And you have your pencils here. You have plenty of space here if you want to use the uh, dry erase pens if you've laminated your sheets. And I love this, how Game Foundry did this. They have the little dividers. And you know what? Let me see if I can put this on green screen. Yeah, get a little close-up view. The dividers, again, these are hard plastic, folks. Dividers for each of the types of cards. So here's your, I think these are the seasons. Yeah, the season cards. And then you have uh, the cards here. A, B, C, D, and so forth. And the little dividers, you just pop them back in here. Super easy. Um, the stars, so these are like the, the ones that will get you the victory points, right? I forget the technical names for these. But this divider goes around the top there. And then, of course, your monsters, your ambush cards right there. Oh, here's a divider too. Did I forget? Uh, maybe it was, oh, it's supposed to be those next cards. So there's for the monsters or ambushes, right? And... Oh, that's for these right there. Barry's already ordered them. <laughs> nice. Barry has already ordered the Viscounts. Nice, Barry. That's awesome. Um, and then, and they are made, I believe they are made, you know, on demand. Uh, so, you know, they, I mean, he, Dave's just, this is his side gig, his side hustle. So, What um, if you have a game that, like, he doesn't already have inserts for? Can you request? I don't know if he can, if he takes requests or not, but I know if, I'm, if enough people ask him, I'm sure that... Yeah, I don't want to put words in the mouth, but um, I'm assuming that Dave does all the ones that, like, he has games, these okay. games, so. Oh, you know, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so he can map it out and stuff. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sure if he had got enough requests, you know, maybe he would. But, yeah, uh, thanks for ordering, Barry. That's awesome. Okay, so that's Cartographers. Now I want to play Cartographers. I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, this one's fun. This is a fun one. Has, have y'all played Fuse from <clears throat> um, Renegade? This is a real-time game, uh, dice rolling and dice placement. Uh, this one's fun because there's the instructions. Oh, this is the second edition of the game, by the way. Here's all the dice in the bag here. And what, uh, do you have your phone, babe? I do. Okay, what Dave has done, he's built this little robot-looking thing, right? So here, uh, y'all can see that. Here's where our cards go. You can just take them out to get ready to play. You insert this into your little robot, and then... You know, if you're using, well, when you use the app, say, huh? yeah, <sighs> look at that, folks. Eh, I mean, it doesn't move or anything, but, you know, <laughs> then you use the app here, and that's that's how you play the game. You, you're going to have the app here, and uh, it's just such a cool little touch. You know, it adds to the theme of this whole sci-fi thing, so. Um, Zoe loves Fuse. We play with the kids. Yeah, it's an awesome game. One of our favorites here. You have that snarky little voice on the yeah. timer. <laughs> <laughs> the snarky robot voice, right? So funny. So, yeah. So, you just put your phone there, uh, like Michelle did, and you can pop this out here to back for storage. I'll give you a closer look at everything. This is, you know, there's, it, it doesn't move. I mean, it's, it's not that fancy, but mm -hmm. it, it's really cool. And then when you're done playing the game after you've most likely lost... <laughs> Pop all your cards in there, 
and then this robot fits perfectly in here. I, I feel like this. there's like toys in the game when you have these inserts. Yeah, right. And then how did I fit it? Was it this way? Yeah, I think I did it this way. Then you put the dice there, nice and neat, and then the and instructions. Then everything fits. Yeah, right. Yeah, the rover. Thank you, man. I was thinking of a word. Yeah, the rover is so neat, right? Okay. Um, oh, here's one of our favorite. Another. I, I love all the games that we were showing off today. Fantastic Factories. <clears throat> this was a hit with us and a lot of people last year um, from Deepwater Games. Fantastic Factories. Here's the instructions. And what Dave's so what Dave's done here, uh, Game Foundry. I like this idea. He's kept the original insert, but he's added some really cool. Um, additional inserts for the game so we have our player boards here and then we have this tray whoops i spilled some of the tokens here uh for the little victory points right here these come out right there and then you also have this for these resources and the white dice okay and then each player gets their own little tray of dice so there's the red player you go over here, we got the yellow and blue players, and so forth. Get these cards here, green and red players there. Everything fits so neatly into this. It's like perfectly made. Uh, one, two, three, four, five sets of dice. Everything's standard. It's just, now you're ready to go. It doesn't take much time to set up and go, right? Everyone gets one of these. There. Boom. Love Fantastic Factories. Everything that we're showing up, I want to play the game now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's something about a well-organized game, folks. I'm thinking we need to get a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah. So we can organize the cupboards in the kitchen. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Grip Dog Fantastic Factory is a really nice game. Yeah. And see how this fits just so neatly here. Boom. And then we get the player boards. Did and you then... just have those in little baggies before? I did. Yeah. They're just, they, I think the game came with some baggies. And I just mm. threw them in there. But this is so neat now. Barry says, yes, we just got Fantastic Factories after watching you guys play. And we love it. Oh, great. Awesome. That's so good to hear, Barry. Thank you. Uh, AJ, now I need to get these games to get some of these accessories, <laughs> right? Yeah. Just buy the accessories. <laughs> yeah. Hey, speaking of Deep Water Games, let's do another one. One of their biggest, if not their biggest hit, Welcome to. Uh, this one, classic, a uh, modern classic, Roll and Write or Flip and Fill. Welcome to. Uh, let's see. Panda says, use some... Glad press and seal to keep those tokens in a place when you want to put the box vertical. That's right. Yeah, I might have to. Okay, here's the instructions and stuff. Uh, have you seen we have laminated a bunch of sheets because we play this game a lot, or have played this game a lot. And boom, voila. These are the cards. Um, you have your, you know, the, the house values and stuff cards, and you just simply take them out. You are ready to go. Boom, boom, boom. And then these come out. Again, you're going to randomly draw one, two, and three. You know, you can put those out. And as you play, you know, you can you flip these over. These will be out of here, obviously. So one, two, three. And again, you just flip them over. And y'all know how to play Welcome to, don't you? Okay. Wow. Isn't that neat? Wow. And then, you know, you can have your other ones over here. Board Game Spam says, seeing that game put away was so satisfying, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us, Board like, Game Spam. Boom. It's organized. Just put it away. <laughs> you know, putting things in little baggies, <laughs> making sure everything fits. I know. You're like, wait. That's always my every, best. <laughs> everything fit before we yeah. play the game. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been so guilty of that. It's like, oh, I get so frustrated. It's like, everything fit before. And like, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> funny that way but anyways hey that's welcome to folks super i mean just such a nice oh, way to organize everything right and these fit again perfectly into the box oops let me get that one what out this? oh that's a help sheet oh i'm like i've never seen these <laughs> <laughs> okay and yeah then you just put everything on top and you're good to go Let's continue, friends. Uh, what else do we wow, have here? how many other organizational things do we have? Yep. This is great. We, we've got a, uh, we're showing off a lot. Again, I want to thank Game Foundry. Uh, Dave, thank you again for sponsoring this episode and sending them over. So many cool things here. We've got one of our other, this is actually one of our top games um, 
that Michelle and I really enjoy. Patchwork, uh, classic. Again, modern classic, Uwe Rosenberg, two-player, polyomino game. You love polyominoes. Yes. I love saying polyominoes. <laughs> <laughs> Say it ten times fast. Polyamino, 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 polyamino. That's really stuck. <laughs> um, so patchwork, here is the insert for here. Um, the instructions. This is the Automa for the solo game. I printed those off. Here are the boards. And then, voila, there is the insert. Uh, this is the Automa here. Uh, Dave had printed this out as well. It's just it's for the Automa deck if you want to play by yourself. And then these little tray here you know i i actually upgraded our um button tokens so they're cardboard we got we went to the dollar store and bought these it was like for a dollar you know for a bunch of these buttons so we just use actual buttons for here if you go to game foundry at their etsy shop they actually um 3d print buttons for you no way yeah for a, a small additional fee you can get 3d printed buttons folks very cool <laughs> so in this little tray are the patches for the game and then you'll notice over here in this part you have your, you know, the player or uh, the um, the marker where you're going to go. You have your player tokens, and then you have the seven by seven, which Michelle and I are always racing for in this game. <laughs> you can place it right there in a little slot, and you have it ready um, as you're playing. So let me show off. That's how it looks up close. There's all the buttons. There's that, and. Didn't know there was an Automa deck. Yeah, so I found mine online at, I think it was Lookout Spiel. Uh, they were in um, Poland or Germany. I forget. But speaking of strategic cons, someone was selling a bunch of decks, and I just I bought them all. There was like five decks, and I ended up just giving them to whoever was around at the time. Um, I think I might have sold one, too. What's an Automa deck? Uh, it's for solo play. Oh. So, yeah. There's the auto. Okay. Yeah, the auto. <laughs> Automa. Um, this is, oh shoot, no, I messed it up. Anyways, uh, it's going to tell you like how many uh, spaces the dummy player moves and ah, you know, what kind of okay. resources and so forth. There's actually two in here. Um, I have the instructions here, but yeah, you can you can still find it. I don't know if it's Lookout Spiel that still has it, but you can still find it online, folks. But that is Patchwork. Again, everything nice and neat. He needs to come organize our house. I know. What needs to happen. <laughs> uh, I love real buttons for games like it. Yeah, it's such a nice little upgrade, right? Again, I, it's only a couple of bucks on uh, on the Etsy store uh, with um, uh, at Game Foundry. Darby Gaming says definitely need. Yeah, so cool. I need to get my three D printer dial back in. Want to be Kiwi says so cute. Yeah, AJ, right? Okay, uh, let's continue. Hey, another favorite of ours, <laughs> Azul. So this one... I have not seen the inserts for these. Okay, so it's not really an insert. It's more of like, um, almost overlay? like a... Not an overlay, I guess, almost like an underlay. Um, let, let's see what I mean by that. This is interesting. So this... I'm always concerned about my, my stuff, like, moving. Yeah. So here's the boards, the instructions, as usual. What Dave has done, Game Foundry, they have these little oh. things here. Michelle and I like to play a two-player game of Azul. And these are... I'll have you do these. Babe. Let's go red and... Alternate red and blue, please. This way? Yep. And they just they should just snap oh, yeah. on, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is a nice little way to hold your little um, the little factories, as they call them, for where the tiles go. Oh, I was thinking like an overlay for the board. Yeah, now they do sell those. They, uh, Game Foundry doesn't, but I know I've seen those online before. You know what would be good is for the top part where you score. Uh-huh, Because yeah. I always move mine and I'm like, I don't know, do you remember where I was at? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so... Oh, so we put our drinks on these? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends if you're playing the adult beverage version of puzzle. But yeah, there they are. Like that. And then, just like in the game, you take one color, toss the rest in the middle. There it is, oh, folks. Wow. That's that neat. And there are different sizes, and you get extra... Um, whoops, these little tray... Um, <laughs> I almost call them coasters. Uh, the little holders for the uh, factories and... Depending on three or four players. so Yeah, like a 3D playmat. Thank you, AJ. That's perfect description. Just like a 3D playmat. So that is Azula, folks. We're not done yet. What? We've got, <laughs> we are not done yet. we got plenty more thanks to our friends at Game Foundry. 
And I think these wow. are really neat, what we have here. We've got a couple more, and then we have the Whatnot Cabinet. Thank you again for hanging out with us, folks. Really appreciate it. This is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and I'm joined, as always, by my wife, Michelle. Okay. And we're putting this away now. Yeah, super easy to put away, too. Um, I usually just stack um, those things there. Yeah. And then the... This stuff. And then those on top. Voila. I'm just having everything organized just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Michelle <laughs> is like super happy right now. I love it. Uh, I love real buttons for... Oh, okay, yeah. And 3D playmat. Nice. Folks, we've got anyone... Has who seen me play solo games before? Y'all know that I love the Tiny Epic series, right? So, whoops, uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies. Uh, Michelle and I have, we've actually played Tiny Epic Galaxies Blast Off. And one thing we were talking about overlays before for Viscounts of the West Kingdom. This is a great game for Viscounts. I'm mean, not for Vi for uh, overlays because if you played this one before, you'll know that. What's this? Oh, okay. Um, now I have these in little baggies here. Right, Amanda? It just organizational things make me happy. It makes my soul happy. <laughs> uh, here are the play mats for Tiny Epic Galaxies. If you play this game, if you play this game, it's just like Viscounts or any other game where you're trying to track resources and stuff. It's really easy to knock stuff over, right? You have these here. Um, you have... Um, the rockets that go here. Actually, those are from the expansion. Uh, rockets here. You have your resources and so forth. Now, it's easy to just, oh, whoops, I knocked it over. I don't know how many points I have. I'll just say I have a thousand <laughs> points, right? So you don't want that to happen. So what do you do? Glad you asked, Ruel. You go to Game Foundry and order some Tiny Epic Galaxies play mats. What? So, Michelle, would you like to do the honor? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. So they're going to slide in. Uh, yep. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. My soul is fulfilled. <laughs> so now you can put your tra uh, empire tracker oh. there, your energy tracker there, and your culture as it needs. And then the extra ships are going to come off of here. And your standard ships, you know, in your galaxy go there. Super Holy nice, right, Brandon Jar? Love this. And what's really cool, folks, I this is the neatest thing. If you play Tiny Epic Galaxies, as you colonize planets, you know that you slide it under your playmat, right? In order to get, oh. get that power. You could slide it in perfectly, just like that. Yeah, there's a little notch right? for the car. Isn't that cool? Dave oh. is, is a genius, folks. Oh. Let's see if I can, I don't know if y'all can see this. Let's get the close up. Amanda says your mats are sleeved and still fit. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. so um, man, I'm glad you brought that up because my, I didn't have sleeves for these mats. When you order from Game Foundry, uh, they, uh, Dave says that the, when you have it sleeved for this particular game, it fits just a little better. So he included premium sleeves with oh. the order. I was like, what? I did not know that was going to happen. So we got premium sleeves. Um, I don't know if y'all, maybe we can see it better this way. So here's the notch where your um, your colonized planets will go, right there. Now you can totally do it without the uh, sleeves, it's fine. I like this because it fits almost like perfectly, right? Yeah. So very cool. Let's take a closer look. He's like look the that. Marie Kondo of <laughs> games. There you go. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> so there's that. And... Uh, you have a uh, one for each color, so each player can get one. Uh, let me just show these off here. Uh, it's a one to five player game, so here, here's all the different colors. You know what these remind me of? The hmm. um, like the little toys you get in the cereal box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> collect the camels in the house. I collect the camel. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, super slick. Um, Wow. Yeah, so each of those, each color will go there. Uh, no need to do that. But, Michelle, did you know that this has a solo game to it? No. Okay, so <laughs> with solo games, you know, you also have a solo uh, overlay. So the solo is on the back of each player mat. And would you like to do the honors for a solo? Wait, so is this the solo? Or so the... that's the solo that's right there. That's the solo. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, it goes this way. Yep. Neat, huh? Oh my gosh, you don't know how happy this makes my soul. <laughs> Michelle is super happy right now, folks. Oh, uh, Collect Count says Herb's Gamut is playing this uh, solo later tonight. Oh, awesome. I'll have to tell Herb about uh, Game Foundry. Oops, I'm messing it up. Uh-oh. No worries. Okay, I don't think I put it in. Uh -oh. No, I didn't put it in correctly. Uh -oh. It's backwards, uh -oh. upside down. Upside down, okay. No worries, we can do this here. Real easy to do, folks. Slide that there. So this is, they call them the Rogue Galaxy. That's for the solo game. Again, this is, same thing. It's just, you're going to go against, uh, you're playing against a, an AI. If they were the yellow player, same thing. They would have their ships here and their um, resource markers and empire markers there and there. Much more secure than just a, a mat laying there, right? So, very cool. Collect a Camel, subscribe for... Oh, wow, five months. Thank you, uh, Collect a Camel. Much appreciated. Folks, we got an alert for uh, our friend David here, uh, Collect a Camel. We got an alert, alert. Uh, renewed subscription. Uh, thank you, Collect a Camel, for your support. Much appreciated, friend. And, I don't have the clapping hands. Oh, yeah, there's your round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that is Tiny Epic Galaxies, folks. One of my... It's probably my favorite in the Tiny Epic series. Um, I love those games, and having something like this is just such a neat little upgrade. Again, you're just buying the overlays. You can buy um, the player overlays, and then I think you can buy these separate um, solo overlays as well. Uh, Weird, Nine says, Weird Nin says, I love Tiny Epic Galaxy. Same here. And I love the expansion as well, um, which is, I, I do have it here, but there's no, uh, no stuff there for um, the uh, game. Where's the bottom, or the other side of the box? Uh, here it is, right okay. here. And just going to toss everything in there. Okay. We'll fix it up later. Oh, here's the note from, oh yeah, so the note regarding Tiny Epic Galaxies. Oh, we talked about that. Cool, cool. So one of my other favorite games in the Tiny Epic series is, and this is the last one we're showing off tonight, folks, and then we're going to play uh, the Whatnot Cabinet. I really enjoy... Tiny epic dinosaurs because who doesn't like dinosaurs, right? Those are so cute. Yeah, these it's definitely I feel for my money the cutest in the tiny epic series. <laughs> so here's this. We have the instructions. And oh, can I help you with this? Oh, I got it. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, let me see. I love tiny epic galaxies. Tiny epic dinos. That is dinos need more love, right? I agree. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the rule book. Actually, I'll wait till Michelle gets back here. I know she'll enjoy it. I think you've seen this one already. Uh, but it's always nice to unveil. So here it is here. We have the expansion, a tiny epic laboratory in here already. Here's all the player boards. And again, here this Game Foundry, total genius when it comes to designing this. Let me get the player boards out. Here is the little tray. Everything fits perfectly. You have your, each player has a color here. You're going to get your meeples and your uh, food tokens, and I think it's power and stuff like that. So one, two, three, and four. <laughs> you have your die that you're going to roll, and then you, each little tray has the dinos. Every single dino. <laughs> to live in dice in LA. Oh, what is this, a game for ants? <laughs> they're so little, but they're so cute. So here's all the different dinos here. You have your first player token, and um, I forgot what the other thing is. But the die goes there, little tokens here. I have Michelle do that. Uh, you got more dinos here, and also the barriers. So these are the unique dinosaurs. Here's the barriers in the game. And then finally, at the very bottom here, you have, uh, for the solo game, you have these cards and the expansion pieces right there. So everything fits just right. These fell out during the movement here. Then you have your cards, um, all the different cards. Your I forget what they're called in the game. I don't know if they're called projects or something. Or oh no, these are the dinosaurs and stuff, or all the action cards and stuff. Those go there. And then you have your public and private um, contracts. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, contracts. They go there. And on the flip side, research you, cards. Yeah, research cards. Thank you. And then on the flip side, they have the expansion cards right there. So there it is, folks. Nice and neat. Wow. Pretty amazing, right? 
Yeah. Maybe you can make stuff for our garage. <laughs> we can use it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No more comments about the garage. <laughs> oh, now if you just put that there, I'll put the die here. So that is Tiny Epic uh, Dinosaurs, folks. Uh, Barry says, thanks for showing all that off. So nice. Thank you for joining. Uh, perfect for your that's tiny home to, uh, to live in Dyson. That's right. <laughs> for our tiny home for all the games. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so. Look at that. Does perfect. This just go here. Yep. Oh, look at that. Genius. <gasps> oh. And then all your instructions go there. Or your player boards, and then your rule book, and the top. Amazing. Wow. Amazing, right? I feel like you need to just, like, record this in <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, I'm going to drop the link in chat again. Please visit Game Foundry. I want to thank Dave and Game Foundry for sponsoring this episode. There, as you saw, there's so many cool uh, inserts and overlays. And we've got a good chunk of them. There are more. Uh, there's more on there. Uh, go to the website, and I'm sure Dave's uh, constantly updating stuff. So thank you again, Dave. Thanks, Game Foundry. Thank you, friends, for hanging out. We've got a game to play now. Uh, let's We're going to set it up here. But let us know what you're uh, – do you all uh, do inserts? Do you, anyone have a 3D printer? Uh, let us know in the comments. And while we set this game up. Um, wow, that made my soul happy. <laughs> right? It's so neat. And actually, you know what? Since we're going to do this, we, we got let's, – let's go the whole – let's show off the whole thing. So – the Whatnot Cabinet. This is a new game from Pencil First Games, Steve Fenn, Beth Sobel, uh, Eduardo Baroff. This here, what Game Foundry has uh, sent to us is this little insert. And it's, the insert itself, the entire insert's here. What they've done is printed out these neat little victory point holders right there. They, go, they fit perfectly in there. Keep your victory points nice and neat. Uh, it's a two-piece thing. Just go like that. And like that, and you're ready to go. Um, then your cards fit under right underneath that. So, another genius piece by our friend at Game Foundry. Cards and Dice says, I feel relaxed after, after seeing all those inserts. Right? Right, we just need to, like, drink some tea and just watch you, like, <laughs> you know. Actually, we should get the inserts. And then you need to put, like, all the pieces in the inserts. Do a little AMSR, just, maybe. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That would be fun. Uh, this is a game of collecting nice little curios out in on the trails or in the wilderness, on the beach. And we're going to fill up our... <laughs> cabinets here let's i want to be kiwi says i love printing off little egg cartons for wingspan oh nice yes yeah wingspan was i i think i have a few of those little um gosh what were they little bird houses for player tokens to replace um my buddy uh marlin printed those out for me um when the game first came out <laughs> really really super super cute okay let's uh can we move that board up just a little yeah. bit so we can get on camera thank you mm -hmm. So the What Not Cabinet, folks, uh, this is a really cool, light yet thinky game. I, I'm really impressed by this game. Super, super cool. Um, let's go to... Uh, take a look, quick look at the game. You're, we're just collecting things for our little uh, cabinets here. Once we fill these up, that's the end of the game. Really straightforward, but oh, it's good. Um, a round looks like this. You're going to prepare, which is just uh, setting up here. So for the first round, we'll set up by randomly drawing four tiles for the outdoors. So I'll let Michelle do that. And then the second step, we're going to play three rounds. The next is taking turns in each player's turn. Uh, these are the turn markers here. Um, you're going to select an action. So I'm the orange piece. Michelle's the dark blue. I'm going to take my piece and go to one of five actions. Okay, so if I go here, I'm going to take that action. Only one player can go on each action. And what the actions are, uh, select an action. Oh, okay, so the actions are basically going to tell you different ways to get pieces to add to your cabinet. We put two pieces at a time per turn, okay, until we're all filled up. Um, let me see this thing here. And we're going to score based on what is in our uh, cabinet. As you can see, we're going to score columns. We're also going to score rows. Columns, if you have a vertical is it vertical or horizontal vertical column up and down if you have them of the same color you have four points mm -hmm. if they're all different colors you get two points then you look at the rows on your cabinet there 
If they are all the same type, you'll get three points. If they are all different types, you'll get one point. And let me get the green screen back up here. You can tell the type and the color based here. So the color, I, again, this is such a subtle thing, but I love how they did this. Because people like me who have colorblind issues, this one here is a color based on the shape of the banner. You can, I can tell this is purple mm -hmm. and this is blue, mm -hmm. right? And then the type is here. This is a bottle type and this is a leaf type. There are also animals and I believe um, crystals? Uh, crystals. And I, I don't know if there's another type, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, so you want to line those up in either type and or color to get those um, bonus points. And let's see, actions. These are the five different action spaces here on the board. Um, the first one is draw three tiles from the bag, take two, then discard the other one face down. Uh, action two is draw two tiles, take one, place the other in the outdoors, then take one from the outdoors. The outdoors is this section here, the tableau, um, the market, basically. Okay. Uh, section three, or action three, is add a tile from the bag to the outdoors, then you take two tiles from the outdoors. Action four, add two tiles from the bag to the outdoors, then take two tiles from the outdoors. And finally, action five, discard all tiles from the outdoors face down to the out, uh, discard pile, then add four tiles from the bag, and then take two from the outdoors. So these are all just different ways to um, get your um, tiles, your curios, um, from the outdoors into your cabinet. Um, other ways to score. This is what's neat. That's the game. All the game is taking tiles, placing them. What's really cool is all the different ways to score. So we talked about the rows and columns already. At the start of the game, we randomly choose five of these uh, here. These are these are a race. So whoever gets the first to each one will score that at the end of the game. So this is here is fill the corners. If you have four pieces on your corners, you immediately take this and score one point at the end of the game. The other one is a different object type in each row. So as long as you have a different type in each row, you will take this card immediately and score that at the end of the game. The first player to complete a row and a column will get two points. The first player to have five colors, uh, not see-through, but five of the same <laughs> color anywhere on their board will get two points at the end of the game. And finally, the first player to collect four crowns. What are crowns? Glad you asked, Ruel. Uh, the crowns, certain tiles have crowns in the corner. You just take those. Once you have four of them, you will collect that. Um, uh, I forget what the name, the curiosity, I believe it's called. So these are just one time. Uh, the first player to get those will score those. This one here is a wonder. I wonder. Um, this will be scored at the end of the game for both of us. So for every animal that we have, we get a point. Now, finally, the last way to score are these here. So we're going to take three rounds of placing our tokens wherever. At the end of the round, you just move them straight back up. And then you go in that order. So if Michelle was first, maybe she goes here. Then I go here. And then she goes here. Then I go here. Then at the next round, we just move straight up. And that determines the turn order for the next game. Remind me a little bit of King Domino. So wherever you place, that's, you know, you're going to go in the next round. At the final round, though, if you notice here, there are th points. So if you land on here at the end of the game, you'll get three points. Land on here, two points. And land on here, one point. If you're on space four and five, you'll get nothing. Okay. And the way they set it up for two players, the first player goes here, second, third, and then fourth there. So in a two-player game, we have two pawns. In a three- or four-player game, you only have one. Okay. Amanda says it sounds like Sagrada a little bit. Yeah. Definitely got a little of that Sagrada element to it. Good call. Um, anything else here? Missing in chat? Cards and dice. I feel relaxed after seeing all those answers. Nice, nice. Okay. Hey, okay, AJ, AJ, have a good night. Thank you for joining us, friend. Okay. Um, oh, I was randomly chosen to go first, so I'm going to take my turn. Again, this is... Oh, let me... Um, where is that here? So let's take a quick look at endgame scoring. As we talk about earn to uh, points for the tokens that you um, have done on the rows and columns. Curiosity uh, cards, those are the ones in the middle that we talked about. Special action tiles. There are a couple of special action tiles that we may draw during the game. There's one out already. Oh, there's one out here. Okay. So in the start of the game for setup, you don't we don't place that out here. But this one, 
um, we'll give you an extra point at the end of the game. So, oh. yeah, for the setup, we just draw. There you go. There's an animal, cat. And let's see, scoring curios. Uh, there's a curiosity card we just talked about. Uh, those are the, the special ones in the middle. And end game scoring, tiles, uh, wonder card. Oh, crowns. The crowns will um, not only score you this one, but at the end of the game, the crowns are worth one point each. And I believe that's it. Yeah. Oh, and then the lands, the action points. And there are so many ways to score points. <clears throat> yeah. When we had played earlier, I thought for sure I had lost <laughs> because he took, I think, like four of these cards. Yeah, I And I was it. like, you know, I was sitting there like so focused on, you know, which one I was going to get and... And homie over here, he, he plays this game like he plays Scrabble. You know, he gets like a thousand points for a two-letter word. <laughs> so, but, yeah, but I ended up winning. Yeah. <laughs> she, was, she was like, oh, I hate this, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, oh, greatest game ever, right? Because she won. And, it's, and that's what I like about it, because there's different paths to victory. Right, yeah. I concentrate on that. But what Michelle did last time, she just knocked it out, crushed it with all the animals. So, okay, so I'm going to take my first turn. I'm going to go, uh, why don't I do this? I'm going to take action number um, three, which is add one tile to the outdoors. So I go here and then take two tiles. Look, it's a four leaf clover. Yeah. So I'm going to take these two here. I'll put uh -huh. one here and one there, and that's the end of my turn. So Michelle will go back to back. Oh. <laughs> I was already going to take stuff. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so um, I think I will do this one, number two. Okay. So draw two tiles and take one and place the other into the outdoors. So every turn you will be placing two tiles into your cabinet, folks. Okay, so I'm going to take one. Oh, you got the special. I did. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> place one into the outdoors. Okay, and then I will take one from the outdoors. <laughs> I just put down. Yep. Okay, and um, then this one, what does this mean again? Uh, that means sweep all the tiles, add oh. four, and then take one. Okay, okay, that's a little broom, I see. Yeah. Okay, so. So this I is the one sweep. Michelle just got. We get rid of all the tiles, including the one that she just played. Add four new ones, and then she gets to take one. Very cool. Three, four. Okay. Oh, well, there's another one. Another special. And that's okay. okay. You could, you can combo. You can do it again if you would like. Really? Yeah. If you take that one again, you do the exact same thing. Sweep everything and put a bunch okay, of Okay, so ones. I'm taking this. Wow, in. nice. Yep. Yeah, I just checked the rule for that. You can totally uh, do One, that. One, two, three, four. How many of those special um, tiles are there? I'm not sure how many are in the bag. Okay, so there's that, 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 and that. Yeah. Okay. Barry, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Okay, I'm going to take this one. I just take one, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I will put that here. Okay, and then you are next in turn order, so you will go again. Okay, I am going to go here. Oh, that's the one I want. Okay, to so that's the sweep again. Yep. Right. <laughs> so sweep, uh, add four, then take two. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got a new couple of new followers. My bad. Yeah, I wasn't sure how long ago that was. Yeah, it looks like they're. So while Michelle's adding that, I'm going to shout out our new followers. Thank you, Day Day and Plug Wars, for following. We do analog alerts here. This is Felicia the Follow Fish. Whenever we get new followers, Felicia shows up, swims around, says hello. Then she takes off, and all of us, including y'all in chat, we say, Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Day Day 1 1 and Plug Wars. And thank you all in chat for doing the by Felicia. It's always okay, nice to see that's that. That's going to be my different ones, and this is going to be. My same color. Okay. Okay. Uh, my turn. I am going to... Um... So I didn't need to do anything, right? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Uh, I have taken action four, which is add two tiles to the outdoors, then take two tiles from the outdoors. And we've got a raid coming in, so I'm going to put on the raiding helmet because the Brothers Murph had just raided. Thank you, Brothers Murph. Thank you, Nick and Mike. Appreciate y'all hanging out and joining us. Thanks for the raid. 
Let us know what y'all play. Actually, I know what y'all played. You were playing Long Shot the Dice Game. That looks tremendous. I I grew up at the... I didn't grow up at the racetrack, but let's just say I went to the racetrack quite often as a child with, <laughs> with my family, and I'm looking forward to it because I love uh, dice truckers and I love the theme. Uh, shout out to everyone that, hanging out. Atomic Jukebox, thank you for joining us. Atticus, uh, 1313. Daryl, oh, Daryl was here. <laughs> Hornus, thanks for joining us, Hornus. Good to see y'all here. Uh, and Torpa, uh, Griff Dog was here. Love rating your channel for the analog tech. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's much appreciated. Uh, is it Cappy Shammy? Thank you. Uh, hello, welcome. My name's Ruel. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello, welcome. And we appreciate the raid. Thank you, Nick and Mike. We have, so this has been a really cool um, stream tonight. We have sponsored by our friends at Game Foundry. Um, if you check out their Etsy shop, they do a lot of cool 3D printed inserts and overlays. Uh, we, we looked at a bunch of them. Actually, one of them we're using right now. We're playing the Whatnot Cabinet from our friends at Pencil First, and this is something that Game Foundry printed. It's a 3D printed token holder for your victory points. It's almost like a coin holder, right? And you just, it's nice and neat. It fits perfectly in the box. In the You keep the box insert, and you just put this in here, and you are good to go, good to play the game. So thank you again for the raid, folks. Really good to see you all here. Appreciate it, and let's play a whatnot, Kevin. Hi, more games, please. Hi, Ross. Thanks for joining us. More games, please. Photograph this one. He, Sweet. He, Ross is an amazing photographer. Grizzly Diz in the house. I spent a lot of time at Santa Ana Raceway growing up. Oh, cool. I was actually, actually I uh, spent a lot of time at Santa Anita uh, Racetrack. Um, I may have placed a better two in my lifetime. <laughs> Whatnot Cabinet's a really cool tile lane slash uh, set collection game. Uh, we just started. We're ending round one. I'm taking my turn. So, again, welcome, friends. Um, I'm going to take... This is purple. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take two of these. We're taking this one here. And then I would like to put the shell... No, no. I could put this shell here. Oh, they need crown. I want this one because it has a crown. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Crown goes right there. Okay. That's the end of the round. Now we do some cleanup, folks. These go away. These go back up to here. So Michelle will start first. I'll go second, third, and then she goes fourth. And we have some new outdoor tiles. Okay. So I don't know. That looks like a rock, an elephant. A gem and a cat. Nice. Oh, Grizzly does. Okay, cool. Send me the nice. Okay. It's Maybe hot I'll night bump tonight. Into each other. <laughs> <laughs> Trio power is in the house. Hello, Trio power. Okay. Um. Oh, I was already just looking at this to see what I could get. Okay. Yeah. Um. Draw three. Two. I think I'm gonna do this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it says to draw three tiles. Um, keep two and discard one. Okay. Two. Oh. So each of these is a different action, which I'll show real quick here, folks. Okay. So and you choose which action you're going to do, and then wherever your piece ends up, you're going to move it straight back up, and then we go and turn over left to right. A little bit like King Domino. Keep two, discard one. Okay. Yeah, uh, Amanda says that I, I did lose right before the stream. We're talking about how Michelle won the first game, so... Hoping to get my revenge here, friends. Okay. And I got the sweep. Oh, Michelle got so the one, special two, top. Oh, that's three, another one. Four. Nice. So that gets rid of a lot of the tiles, yeah. though. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I choose one more. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to choose this. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, trying to set up. Okay, Michelle's trying to set her up, set herself up for the colors there. Oh boy, what do I want? I don't want. Oh, actually, I want one of those. So I'm gonna go with. Um, why don't I draw? Go here to action four. Add two tiles, then take two tiles from the outdoors. So add two. Uno dos. Okay, so I want this one for sure. That's going to go here because that will complete my purple. And then the second one I would like is this animal one, which will go here. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have completed a column and a row. So I get this one here. Okay. Um, 
I have one two crowns, so I don't get that one. I have four colors, not five. I have not filled the colors. And let me see if I have a different object in each type. One, two, three, four. I do. So I get these here. Different object type in each row. And then I score the row uh, columns and rows. So going down here, uh, all the same color, I get four points. And I just mark it like this. Then all different types, one, two, three, are going to be one point. That's the end of my turn. Oh, and I got this this one. Oh, you did that row? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that all different types? Yes. Okay, one point. Yay, I got my one point. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I want to do? Take two tiles, draw two tiles, take one and place the other in the outdoors. You know what? I think I'm going to do that one. Okay. So draw two, take one. Okay. Oh. Is that supposed to be blue then? Uh, blue this is one? this shape right there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so it is. Okay, so I'm drawing two and I'm keeping one. Mm -hmm. The other one goes into the outdoors. Okay. Okay, so... And then I take another one from the outdoors. Yeah. So you'll place that one first, then you okay, take the next one. Okay, so I'm going to place that one, and I'm going to take this red leaf. And I think I want to put it here. No, I don't want to put that there. Oh, okay. I want to put it here. Okay. So you have completed okay. a row and column. Let's go ahead and score those. Okay, so this is all the same color, so I get four. Nice. Okay, and then my row, those are all different, so I get one. Nice. Gosh, yes. Okay, and then, oh, it's my turn. I'm going to go to add one tile. I'm going to take a tile. Yeah, and go here, action number three. Add one tile to the outdoors, then take two tiles from the outdoors. So let's see what I get. Aha! I'll take these two. I'm going to place one here. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go here. I've gotten all four corners. So I like <laughs> this. And I now have one, two, three crowns, or four crowns. So I get all these. And I haven't completed those. So that's the end of the round, folks. We do our cleanup. So let's move these. So Michelle will go first and second. I'll go third and fourth. We have one more round. We're almost done. This is a qu pretty quick game, folks. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he did the last time. I'm worried, though. Oops. We know what happened last Sorry. game. Oh, we got a special card coming out. Cool. Oh, wow. They're all green. Oh, okay. So this card here, uh, let me throw it on the screen real quick. This is a special tile here. Uh, this is the draw a curio tile and earn one point. So if taken, draw a tile from the cloth bag, add it to your cabinet. This special to action tile is not discarded, but you just keep it on on your on the side there, and it's worth one point at the end of the game. Really? Yep. Okay. Oh, I guess I should move my little pawn somewhere. Yep. So this is the final round. Okay. Um... And just a reminder... Wherever your pawn ends up, that you're going to go back up and you're going to earn points for the first three spaces. Three, two, and one, respectively. It's going right here. Yep, I, <laughs> That's three points. Oh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do on there. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I'm going to land. Okay, draw three tiles, keep two, and then discard one. Nice. One, two, three. Okay, so I keep two of these bad boys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and there's the Bruno. Hey, our pug's going to join us, folks. Here, let me, as I'm making my decision, let me let this little boy in. Hi, Bruno. Hey, sweet boy. We'll see if he wants to go on camera tonight. I know he's just looking for Michelle. <laughs> Slivers is cheered 100 okay. fists. Thank you, Slivers. Yes. Hi, Bruno. Slivers always um, wants to get Bruno in trouble. <laughs> okay, so I did one, so draw three tiles. Keep two. Friends, okay, so anytime you spend bits, I come out of hibernation, and Bruno is looking for me. Thank you, Slivers, for the support. Appreciate it. Okay, Bye, friends. There's that. You gotta hide and this that. guy from Bruno. Okay, and I finished a row with three different ones, so I get Uno there. Nice. Okay, and go. this goes discard. Yep. 
Okay. Hi, sweet boy. And we also have a Bruno trick, treat, and walk. So let's start Aww. with the treat first. Thank you, Griff Dog, for redeeming all those points. Much appreciated. That is a treat for Bruno. Hi. And Griff Dog wants a trick from Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> I always Aww. love that. Thank you. And a walk from Amanda Panda. Thank you, Amanda, for taking Bruno Aww, for a walk. Oh, and Board Game Spam is giving Bruno a treat. Oh, I guess a treat <gasps> after walking. Thank you, Board Game Spam. Oh, my goodness, Good boy, Bruno. Bruno. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn again. Oh, darn it. So, you know, I'm going to move here because that's an extra two points for me. Oh, uh, so. Board Game Spam just walked to Bruno. Oh, <gasps> yay. Okay, so I draw two, take one. And place the other into the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Thanks again for redeeming all the points and for the bits too, Slivers. Much appreciated, friends. Take one and then take any one from the outdoors. Oh, so I can take two of them. Mm -hmm. How about that? Um, yeah. yeah um, ah, no, that's not what I wanted to do, though. But I guess I'm going to have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's all right. I got one here. Okay. So my move, I really do you I have get one? Yeah, one point. Oh, your columns too. Oh, you're my columns. columns. So yeah. they're all different. They're not no points. Wait, what? Uh, columns going up and down. So it's different colors, right? It's got to be four different colors. Oh no, yeah. I didn't no. do it. Okay, so you just put blank ones there, just as a reminder that you have looked at those. Oh, and, sad face. Yeah, I had a couple of those last game. Do you have five colors? Uh, any one five color? No. No. Okay. Um, I am going to do this move here. Um, sweep the row. Two, three, four. And then I draw four and take any two. So oh, two. I just saw, I just saw uh, Amanda's thing. Yeah. I realized I should have taken the special one. <laughs> okay. but, but it had the crown on it. Okay. Well, hmm. I can do... I'll do this one first. So the special one is uh, draw a tile and earn a point. So this is going to stay here. I earn a point at the end of the game, and I just draw one from the bag, and I have to place it in my cabinet here. It is a shell. I'll go right there, and that's going to stay there. And then I draw a second one here. Uh, this one has a crown. This one, I'm going to put the yellow one okay. here. Also has a crown. And then my final move, um, it's either going to be here. Actually, I want that at one point. So this is add one tile to the outdoors, then take two tiles from the outdoors. Darn it. I really wanted a purple one. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this uh, here. And then this will go here. So now let me score all these rows and columns. So this row here. One, two, three different types, so I'll get a point there. This is three different types, so I'll get a point there. Uh, three different types, one point there. Um, not four different colors, so zero. And then one, two, three. I do have, no, that's the same color, so nothing there. Boo earns. Okay, folks, that's the end of the game. Uh, we're going to go to final scoring now, which is here. Uh, so point tokens, we're going to get the curiosity cards and then special action tiles, wonder card, and then the crowns on the tiles, and then anything from the landscape spaces. So let's move all these back up here to landscape. So these are the ones are going to score. This one is a dud. Um, <laughs> this can go away. Uh, let's look. So we're just going to grab these points here for your rows and columns. Oh, oh. Yes, Bruno. Oh, Bruno wants to make an appearance. So before we oh, do final scoring here, let's... Uh, well, now he moved. Oh, no, he doesn't want. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to get points for these down. here. One, two, three, four, five for my cards. So... Wow, I didn't get any yeah. cards this time. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Sad. And then score okay. your animals. One point per animal. So one, two, three. three. Same. Okay. And then I have a point for this extra tile. And then any crowns, you get one point per. So one, two, three, four. I got six. Six. Okay. And then the action spaces. Michelle has a three and a two, and I have a one. Three, two, 
and then one for me. And then you just add them up, and that's the game. Okay. And these blank ones, these are uh, tiebreakers. Oh, we have the same tied, amount. <laughs> then I think we share the victory. Okay, so that's two. I did one point better than the last time. I got 24. This game's broken. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. How'd you do? 22. 22. Okay, so last time you had 26 and I had 23. So, again, another close game. Folks, that is it. GG. Oh, let me go back to... Uh, actually, can I play it here? No, I can't. Let's go back to this scene because then I can play my victory uh, music. <laughs> go take your victory lap now. You know you want to. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is the sound of victory, folks. Uh, let's go back over here. Whoops. Um, thank you, friends, for hanging out with us tonight. Much appreciated. We want to find someone to raid, but again, shout out to Game Foundry for sponsoring this episode. Thank you, Dave, for all the great inserts and overlays. Folks, thank you for supporting Game Foundry. He's here in Southern California, and he does all kinds of great board game accessories. Um, I'm going to find someone to raid. I want to thank you all for hanging out, and thanks to Pencil First Games uh, for sending over the Whatnot Cabinet. I really like this game. Oh, yeah. This is great. I, this is, again, in our wheelhouse, it's, like, easy to learn. But, oh, there's some strategy here. Like, there's so yeah. many ways to score points, right? Yeah. And the, I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention to some things. <laughs> no worries. But it's fun because it's only, like, 15, 20 minutes, really, to play this game. Yeah. We weren't chit-chatting. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I really like that. Uh, Raid Board Game Blitz will do. Okay. Uh, Daryl Bonars, thank you for joining us. Uh, late join, but hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye, friend. Uh, thank you, Amanda, for recommending Board Game Blitz. Let me find them here. Folks, stick around for the raid. Uh, where is Board Game Blitz? Board Game Blitz. 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 <laughs> Let's show them some love. I don't know what they're playing right now. Uh, anything before we get going, Michelle? Getting my second uh, shot for the vaccine on Saturday. Yeah, she's... Almost done. I am still got fingers crossed. I'm going to, well, hopefully I'll get mine soon. Uh, but anyways, folks, stay safe. Um, tomorrow I will be on the more, the more Meeples, the merrier. I believe Amanda's going to be on there too tomorrow. 6 p.m. Meepleville Cafe uh, there, Twitch. And I believe they're going to be on the front page of BGG. So we're going to hang out with Tim, chit chat. It's going to be fun. Um, and then, hey, why don't we say hi to Bruno before we get out of here? There's Bruno. Hi, Bruno boy. Baby boy. There's the Bruno hi, dog. Baby boy. Yay. <laughs> it's just on Michelle's lap. So there is Bruno, folks. Thanks, Bruno, for joining us. Oh, <laughs> it's getting late. Tell us how you really feel. Tell us. <laughs> thank you, Wannabe Kiwi. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Griff Dog. Um, Bruno fan, thank you, Wannabe Kiwi, for being a Bruno fan. We are all Bruno fans here. Thank you for redeeming the points. Oh, he likes that. He likes that. We're going to raid Board Game Blitz. Let me get that ready. Uh, Y'all, please stick around for the raid. Let's show Board Game Blitz some love. Thank you again. We are... Are we out of here? Or no, are we out of here? Oh, good boy. We are out of here, folks. Have a great night. We're going to uh, go raid Board Game Blitz. Bye, everybody. Bye.